welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I know I sound worse possibly than I did. I was feeling better and then it kind of moved down here, but we still got to work. So I found um, this tube. It kind of fell behind somewhere and I was like looking to use indigo for a long time and I could never find it. So um, today is all about indigo. When I have an inspiration like this, if I have like one color that I want to use, I usually just Google color palettes and see what comes up. So I actually found two color palettes that seemed interesting to me and I asked my Patreon group to vote. Now, I thought the majority would want me to use this color palette. It's really pretty like ombre, light purples, to the indigo and remember if you've seen my few videos ago i told you how light purples are actually really hard for me to work with in the blue because they end up like looking really yucky so i thought i was going to mix up some light purples and see how that goes however to my surprise they chose this color palette which is super interesting um and i think this is so pretty the way this looks um, I really like this as a background and to have this kind of thing of color. Now, this color, I know exactly what color I'm going to use and it's not even really in my wheelhouse and I never use it. So when I look at something like this, for the most part, I know what colors I'm going to use, except this background color, I really want to think, because I'm going to mix that up myself somehow, um, and I really want to think about what I'm going to do. So this was their vote. Now, this, I could just do a simple swipe, right? But I think we're gonna go Bloom Vine. I really love like the little pops of color. So let's start choosing our colors. So I told you I knew already what this color was gonna be. Um, and that is TLP Parakeet, right? You see it. Now I have to be honest, I'm not, I don't gravitate toward this color and it's not that it's ugly. I've used it with like magenta and stuff. It looks really cool. I'm just trying to find like a magenta for you. But like, it looks really tropical and really fun, but I just don't, it's not my jam. But that's why I love doing this because it takes you out of your comfort zone. So we have this. Yeah, this color for me, I could mix it up like I did a few videos ago. I really made a nice red maroon. What's easier if you have it is um, one of the most magical favorite colors, not this one, uh, is Matisse Australian Red Violet. Really expensive, um, really magical. In the States, Blix, in Canada you can order from Blix too, Blix has it, or, um, in Canada, you can order from Jackson's Art, which is European. Both of them, you're gonna kind of pay shipping and this is a, a very expensive color. There are, you know what, maybe I'll do dupes one day, but honestly, I'm too like tired to mix up my own, so I'm just gonna use this, okay? So we've kind of got it so far. Now this, I envisioned as another piggy because another piggy color situation I don't use often um, is called, do I want sockeye? Sockeye. I, you see, um, I rarely use this color too. And I remember actually I used it a few months ago and I was like, why don't I use this color more often? So I have the first three colors. Let's see how I'm doing. If I could all hold them in one hand, you know, I always have problems doing that. Oh goodness. Okay, I'll, there we go. Right, so we have first three. Okay, cool. Now, we know this is a tubey, so we so far have two tubes, two pigments. Just gonna figure this one out. Now, another vision I have, you know how I love throwing in an interference? What I envisioned with this as an interference is comet or sequins. Um, they're a little different in the Comet. Comet is supposed to be more of a red interference. Uh, I know they're all dirty. You can't see and you can't really tell. But I thought like having a red pinkish vibe 
over this would look kind of neat oh so I only have two tubies right now I haven't figured out what I'm doing for this yet um, and then I have to think about layering because I have to think about what color cell activator I want to do and the look I'm going for now this color here looks gorgeous right and you're like yes that's it this color is called grayish blue I really enjoy looking at this color it's my experience though in a bloom that this color does not look great when it's stretched out now to be honest I haven't used it in a very long time so these are the types of colors I would stay away from um, sorry I'm just popping my ears um, however why don't we zhuzh it up a bit uh, and mix it with like a little sparkle of some sort and maybe like it will soften it up because this is what I want for my background okay and I'm going to use a lot of it because uh, I'm going to be using a hair dryer today because obviously I don't feel like blowing everywhere. Wait a minute though. I said I was doing bloom vines, so I have to blow everywhere. <sighs> Fine. I'll blow everywhere. Um, and originally, because I was going to use the hair dryer, I was going to do this 14 inch, but I think because I'm doing bloom vines and, and I want and I don't want to kill myself today, I'll probably get a smaller one, to be honest. We'll see how that goes. But let's go back to this pretty color. Um, what am I going to mix it with to make it really cool? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to waste your time. I'll think about it. But if this is going to be the background color, it's not really counted as a two paint. So I do want to throw in another color in here uh, to make it... Because if you have, if you, you know, as you know, if you have too many uh, piggies and not enough tubes, it won't really hold up. So I really want to build up the tube paint aspect. If I'm looking at this, I do see a bit of purple in the shadows. So I'm going to add a purple tubie. Um, I have one already mixed up. This is Diox purple. I might use this or I might use, because um, this is, she's quite strong. Is purple, so I might use this whole line amethyst purple, whatever it is, there's going to be a purple. So I have three tubes, three piggies, still haven't decided the order. That's what we have to do now. It's a lot of work choosing colors, isn't it? When you don't know what you're doing. So I think because I want like a really pretty flowy, do I want it flowy? Hmm. Does she want a white cell activator or a dark cell activator? Well, let's see what colors we have. Do you know what? We're going to do white and we're going to top it with that. Okay. So because of that, we're going to start parakeet, uh, violet, sockeye, purple, comet, indigo. That's the bloom that, by the way, Excuse my husband for just coming in here and putting his golf things here. How rude. Um, Trying to try be all, you know, profesh. Okay. And that is how I choose my layering. Why, you might ask. If you are, if your consistencies are good, okay, you can start with a pigment. If you're a beginner, I wouldn't suggest starting with a pigment. But because I love starting with a pigment, that's what I do. You always, always have to end with a two paint, okay? Be, not always, but really... Just do it if you're a beginner because the two paint really holds the cells and lacings really nicely. And this is a blue that should hold up quite nicely. So let me mix them up. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with this to make it cool. And like hopefully we'll have like a cool looking bloom. See you soon. Hi guys. You want to know something annoying? I just recorded a whole thing and uh, I didn't realize it wasn't recording. I ran out of space so I've deleted some things and then we're doing it all over again I don't actually mind because I'm kind of digging what happened so I'm gonna do this all over again this is my Glidden Essentials eggshell now I decided to do the 14 inch uh, 
just cause. So for this pillow paint, what I always have to remember is you don't need that much cause it really spins out thinly. Um, so that should be enough because I do want a bunch of negative space for the custom pillow that I made. Oh, someone is here and Sneakers is mad about it. So I'm just thinning it out a little bit so we don't have to spin that much. Okay. Oops, get those boo blaze out. Do you wanna hear something funny? Someone sent me a screenshot yesterday because she was watching my video with the captions on. Guess what YouTube captions thinks I'm saying when I call my bubbles boo blaze. They think I'm saying boobies. So these poor people who've been watching my videos uh, think that I'm saying boobies and that's inappropriate. So I'm gonna have to say it more slowly for boo blaze, like my boo blaze. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, pause, hold on. Okay, I'm back. The reason um, Sneakers was barking was because Tired Butler is here to change my winter tires to summer tires, which is my best time of year because it means winter's over and I'm super excited about it. I just put a little bit more um, pillow paint down here to make sure I had enough. Now, my other paints I mixed up earlier, this one I had to make a new batch. Um, oh, I didn't even tell you what it is. So guess what I'm doing for my background? Remember I said I liked this color, which is the grayish blue. What I did, because it's, it's pretty opaque and kind of like yucky looking, but you can see there's boo blaze in it. Um, but I did add some TLP sterling just to knock back the like opaque opacity a bit and to give it a bit of a sparkle. So it's not like super sparkly, but just to give it a little interest. I'm just gonna knock a few boo blaze out. So normally, especially if I'm doing this, because you don't you don't want boo blaze on a color that you're making your fake pillow. Um, so hopefully there won't be too much. So what I'm going to do is just pour it a big chunk of it. Oh, it's pretty thick. I hope it's not too thick. And I hope we spin out nicely. Probably could, it th could have thinned it down a bit. We'll see if I'm a winner or a loser with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, hopefully when I add the other colors, mm, I don't know if I have enough. Don't worry. We're not panicking yet, okay? We'll panic later. Um, I'll just go like this. Okay, so. <clears throat> you can get those. <sighs> I'm scared to say boo blaze from now on. Okay, there they are. So let's start with our bloom vine, okay? I'm gonna start with parakeet. And we're just gonna like do our thing, you know what I mean? So we have parakeet. It's a funny way I did that. Um, next, we're gonna go Australian red violet. So, so far when I poured these colors, I was like, ooh, I love these colors together. Do you know what? My paints haven't even been open that long and they've thickened up a lot. So you have to be aware of that, all right? But aren't these colors pretty so far? So on top of that, I'm gonna do the sockeye. I just wanna drizzle a little, little bit. Drizzle it just a little bit, right? Okay. <clears throat> On top of that, now, let's keep in mind, I have, oh, I don't think I told you, for the purple, I mixed up Li Liquitex gouache, which I used to use often, I like it. This is Prism Violet. Uh, gouache is a bit different than acrylic. It just has other stuff mixed in, but it works just fine. But I don't want it, like, because I have my Prussian, no. 
I have my indigo blue. So maybe I'll do like purple on one side and blue on the other. You know what I mean? Or I'll do like an X. Like I'll start the purple here. Okay. So on top of that purple, I'm gonna do the comet and then maybe I'll do the Prussian blue kind of like going this way. I don't know, for difference, you know? So I'm gonna do a bit of Comet. I don't wanna to get too many piggies on top of each other. So I'm gonna just try to go with that violet that I did. It didn't really work, but it's fine. So for the blue then, I do wanna make sure I cover some piggies on this side. Ooh, look at how much it's thickened up, guys. Like, no, that's not appropriate. Let's thin that out a bit. So, and literally, it's not even been open an hour. So I'm just gonna add a little Joe Sonia to thin it out a bit. So nervous, I have to keep checking that it's recording. <laughs> All right, we're doing a bit better. So I'm gonna go kind of the other way with this. Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I have my white cell activator mixed up. Let me just get those boob lays. <laughs> or should I just say boobies? I mean, no, that's just wrong. Okay, so I like to mix my cell activator kind of thicker on the thicker side. I don't measure, but I do like it to have some body. And the way I can tell is usually when I drip it, it drips for five seconds before pulling back. One, two, three, four, five. And then it kind of bounces back. Some people say that doesn't matter for me. That's just kind of like a good indication. So because this line is so long, I'm not gonna put sock activator over the whole thing because by the time I get to the end, it will have melted and sunk. So I'm gonna do half and half. I don't want too much, but I don't want too little if you know what I mean. So we'll do, maybe that will do. Just a little bit more, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, a little dizzy. <laughs> Gonna break up some of the areas here. All right, while that's sinking, I will go finish this one. I only need a little bit here. You really have to be gentle in your blow and precise, which can be hard for sure. Okay, not too shabby. Now I'm gonna take my skewer. Although I don't mind so much of the edges, but I'm just gonna fix some of them with my little designies that I always say I want to stop doing because they can get boring, <laughs> but you know how I am. Oops. It's important not to overdo the swirlies, in my humble opinion. I probably do overdo them personally. <laughs> But whatever. You only swirl once, right? Well, you know what I mean. Okay. So I think we're gonna be okay. These are gonna come off anyways, but oh, that's so pretty. Oh God, that purple and the comet. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna start spinning. I don't want too much of the edges off, um, but we're gonna start spinning and see what she does. Um, 
I'm gonna start just tilting so we get, like I know that the white's gonna come off anyways, but. <clears throat> Luckily, it wasn't too thick, right? I do want her to kind of move down a little bit, you know? We don't want something straight across. So, so far, although this color combo at first was like kind of weird, it's also kind of cool, you know what I mean? I like it. You. Um, so I'm just keeping tilting because I want to make sure I don't have too much paint, which I do. So I'm going to keep spinning. You want to think of your composition as well as how much paint you've got left. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. I just want to tilt it just a little bit more. <clears throat> so, oh, what a hectic little piece we tried to do today. You know what? I think it's cool. I think the colors are kind of cool. Um, definitely different. And, um, you know, so what do you guys think of this color combo? I hope you enjoyed um, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye.